I feel a bit like Mrs. Frizzle this morning. Come on, kids, we're going to the Arctic. We are going on our first major Alaskan adventure. And she was like, you guys hauled that all the way up here? The trailer <laughs> and truck are pretty filthy. Okay, our slides are fixed. We've showered, we've done some laundry, we've rested. I showered. You showered last night. Oh. Yeah. We've rested a little bit. I have scheduled our video for Sunday. We are going on our first major Alaskan adventure to the Arctic Ocean. Ah! Here we go. Of course, it would be raining on our way out. But the weather, we have chose this, these days specifically because the weather looks the best at Coldfoot and Dead Horse on a Sunday and Monday. Sunny again. I think that's an Alaska thing, maybe? The Dalton Highway, also known as the Hull Road, is a 414 mile, mostly gravel road. It crosses through some of Alaska's most remote wilderness and is considered one of the world's most dangerous highways. We're making our way toward the Dalton Highway and there's a lot of frost heaves. The trailer is kind of bouncing a lot. And so we just pulled over to make sure that we double checked everything underneath and it all still looks good. The suspension looks good, leaf springs look good. They are looking a little bit flattened and the tires are definitely worn, but all of that is to be expected seeing as we just drove the Alaska Highway all the way here. We're just gonna keep a close eye on everything and if we feel like it's getting bad, then we will turn around. Some of these guardrails are a hundred percent worthless. We have made it to the Dalton Highway from the Elliott Highway. Bring your headlights on. The highway was built in 1974 to accommodate the Alaska Pipeline, which stretches 800 miles from Prudhoe Bay to Valdez. In 1994, it was fully made available to public use, and the rules are pretty simple. Big trucks have the right-of-way, headlights always on, slow down when passing oncoming traffic, and don't go unprepared.
Arctic Circle. Stop right across from the Yukon River behind us, and there's a place here called the Yukon River Camp. It says that it's open, it does have gas. It looks like there are private vehicles getting gas there, not just truckers. So, good to know. Yukon River is 2,000 miles long, the third longest river in the United States. Yukon fully freezes over? Mm -hmm. Wow. It takes several days from the first cracking and shifting of ice, which can be several feet thick until the river sweeps itself clear for the winter. It took $8 billion and 20,000 workers working 12 hour days, seven days a week to finish the project in three years. This pipe is in 70,000 sections joined together and is either buried or raised to protect the permafrost. Over three mountain ranges, 800 riverbeds, tundra, forests, lakes, all the way from the Arctic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Sorry kids, you can't climb on the pipe. <laughs> There seems to be a hose that's just draining water everywhere. So John's trying to turn it off because it does look like it's drinking water available, it says. Maybe a dump station? Water runs year round. They're not trying to turn the water off all the way. Just turn the knob until it stops. Do not try to force it beyond this point. This valve is designed to allow water to pass so it will not freeze up in the winter. Just trying to be a good Samaritan, but not helpful in this situation. Dinner tonight is as easy as I could possibly make it. We are heating up some pre-cooked chicken and having great big salads with, with chicken. And surprisingly, my kids are really excited about it, so I'm going to take it as a win and run with it. We're busting out the Arctic Wolf this morning because we're about to head into the Arctic Circle. What? I feel a bit like Mrs. Frizzle this morning. Come on, kids, we're going to the Arctic. What are we doing out here? We're doing a book. We're doing drawing Nice, uh, which one? The big one. Gates of the Arctic. Gates of the Arctic. All right, Chloe, you're good. That's a good caribou. Kids are working on their junior ranger books. We picked up two at the um, interagency office in Fairbanks. And before we left, we pay for YouTube premium so that we can download things and watch them offline. So I downloaded a History Channel episode on the Alaskan Pipeline, and it's about 45 minutes long. Super interesting. I found it very interesting. I love learning all the facts. My kids aren't as excited about the pipeline, but I find it very fascinating. And especially since my dad drove this road like a year after the oil started flowing, so with his truck. So for me, it's kind of like nostalgic. Not nostalgic because I wasn't there, but just it's really interesting to travel the same road that, that he traveled on after it was freshly laid. Okay, we're about to set off from the five mile campground and continue on our journey. I wanted to show you two resources that we have. We picked up this one, it's the Dalton Highway Mile Post put out by the Bureau of Land Management. And it is a mile by mile description and all the things that you need to know about the Dalton Highway, things you should take and know about in advance. And then we also have our mile post, which is also really helpful. It has a whole section on the Dalton Highway as well with things to stop and see on it. 
Uh, we did check with the rangers at the visitor center in Fairbanks to make sure that the interagency office in Coldfoot is in fact open because we would hate to take this whole drive and not be able to go to that visitor center. So it is open. The kids are working on their junior ranger books in hopes of getting their badges and being sworn in in the Arctic Circle. Did it, did it rain? Yeah. It's mud. It's, the ground is mud. Like, you, we shouldn't, we can't stop. Cause we're gonna get, we might get stuck. Pretty epic. I'm glad we're doing it. But I don't think I wanna do it again. So we're out here living on our Dalton Highway adventure right now it rained a little bit and it's very much a dirt road <laughs> we are on a section right now of the dalton highway called the roller coaster hills and they all have names at different mile markers came up sand hill and then i think we're on roller coaster hill right now then we have mackie beaver slide and gobbler's knob these are all the original names that the truckers named them back uh when this road first opened as a haul road We are passing Finger Mountain, which points back to Fairbanks. So cool. We're actually going to skip it for now and hit it on the way back because there is a big old tour bus that just stopped and people are pouring out of it. And we just decided that we'd rather come back when there's no one else around because the chances are pretty slim that you're gonna run into people. So it's kind of funny that we ran into a tour bus. I'm 100% giddy and nerding out right now. I cannot believe that we are in the Arctic Circle. This is your certificate for crossing the Arctic Circle. I think I'm the most excited. I've been absolutely giddy about this whole thing. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hello. Made it to the Arctic Circle. It doesn't feel like the Arctic Circle, but it has been quite the drive to get here. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. When we first rolled up and we met Sylvia, who is the ranger here, she's actually camp hosting at Five Mile Campground. We just missed her. Um, had lots of great information, and, but when we first rolled up, it was really cute because she was like, you guys hauled that all the way up here? <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're going to Coldfoot. And she's like, are you going, you're not going to go on Attic and Pass, right? And we're like, no, 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 we're, we're not going past Coldfoot with the trailer. Maybe with the Jeep. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine with the Jeep. I wouldn't take the trailer. on the pavement again, but there's some places where it feels like the road just disappears and it gets real narrow. <laughs> 24 miles left. We made it. Boy, I mean, don't blink or you're gonna miss Coldfoot. I still have 239 miles left on my range, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up because there is no other gas. There's only one unleaded pump that is not out of service. 11. 5.49 a gallon. No premium here either, so 
<laughs> my little snooty Jeep is gonna have to just do fine with whatever this is. This has happened a couple of times. We have Ethan's window, and now this is a main window in our living room that bounce open even though we've closed them they're not like locking in place or they're coming unlocked as we drive which is really weird so now i'm curious how dirty it is inside of our rv right now well this is neat 200 and something uh 235 i think was the total for gas yeah but the <laughs> breakfast is going to be amazing tomorrow <laughs> there's going to be biscuits and gravy french toast blueberry or buttermilk Pancakes. <laughs> look look at him. excited about the trucker buffet. <laughs> We're going to eat the trucker buffet in the Arctic Circle. A restaurant in the Arctic Circle. Yeah, yeah. That's insane. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Tired of being in the car all day? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fun fact, this is the furthest northern truck stop ever actually seen our trailer this dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure that's gonna come down. It is caked. So I know we're gonna get razzed because we don't have mud flaps. This is uh this is something that's that's intense. We're being polite and not using the uh, redneck woodpecker. We also are probably not gonna run the generator. There are a lot of tent campers here. Hey bud, you're riding your bike in the Arctic Circle. I'm like Aaron, I think. Aaron was like, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's okay, it's cool and everything, but like, Where's this, like, this is the Arctic, like, where's the snow? I want there to be snow. Mom, That's you guys are so hard to please. We are at the Arctic Interagency Visitor Center in Coldfoot. The kids have done their Junior Ranger books. We're hoping they'll get the badge. I don't know if we'll be here or not. feels like the sun went down because it's on the other side of the mountain but I didn't realize that it is 10 o'clock at night and I just finished our soup because when you come to the Arctic you need to have chicken noodle soup right except for I thought it was gonna be a lot colder up here it's not cold, at all. It's not cold outside <laughs> there is an army Come. like we know you in there I can smell it Join us next week as we continue on the Dalton Highway and tackle Adigan Pass. Plus, we'll show you what it really looks like under the midnight sun in the land where the sun doesn't set. Go away. Go away. You're not wanted over here. Go feed the fish.